Amazon or a Macaw, that they actually speak the same language to each other. Have, has anybody thought about that? The one coming from different continents, that they actually can understand what each other is saying? Has anybody thought about that? We don't know. Nobody knows. We know so little about these birds. You know, an, a, a bird from Africa or a somebody from Africa is not going to be able to understand what somebody from Puerto Rico says, for sure. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing some s things for you to think about. Somebody brought up something that when we play music, how presumptuous we are about our birds, that we play music, and it doesn't matter what, what uh, radio channel that we're on, it's very presumptuous of us and human to expect our bird to enjoy that music. I know they bob, you know, there's a rhythm. But I know that if somebody put me in a room and I had to, and, and, and this is no disrespect, sat me down to listen to some rap music, I do not understand what they're saying. I have no related to what they're going on about, they're talking about. And, and because I can't connect to it, I don't really like it. But our birds don't know our, our, our music. Does that make sense? Or if we would listen to some Chinese music, which is very unusual music to us. It's very discorded, very unrhythmical um, in our minds, in our society. Um, so when I put music on for my birds, at least I, I, I try and put music on that I think they're going to relate to. I buy bird tapes of just birds, you know, in forests and things that chirping, whatever. And I found a dramatic response to it rather than the country music that I sort of listen to or, or whatever. Okay? I'm just trying to open, I'm trying to take the blinkers off about being a companion with the birds.